So one issue that's coming up as you guys are doing your WebQuest websites is how to change the sidebar navigation and also what happens if you put a page in the wrong place, how do you change it? So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to change where a page is located and then how to reorganize this navigation sidebar. So as you can see we're missing task, we've accidentally placed task under introduction here. So what I'm going to do is go more and then go to Manage Site. This is going to let me do different things with my overall site. So once this loads, one of the things that you can do is uh, look at Pages. So if we click on Pages here, it's going to show us the overview of what we have. And we can click on this little plus to expand. Now we can see a plus for anything that has a subpage. And as we had noted earlier, we accidentally put Task under introduction and we want to move it up to the same level as the others. So as it says up here we're going to click and drag to move pages. So we're going to click task and drag it. We're going to highlight it a welcome because we're going to move task to appear under welcome like all the others. So it's going to be a sub page of welcome. So you see it's moving, it says it's moving and now it's in the same, it's on the same level as all these other pages. It's a sub page of welcome. So we're good now. We can come and go back to our overall site. So uh, what we need to do here is figure out a way that we can get Google to stop organizing our pages for us. So as you can see, it's put conclusions first and evaluation second. Basically, it's alphabetizing the subpages under welcome. And you would like to have these, of course, in order for your web quest. So to change this, what we're going to do is go over here to more. And then what you need to do is to select Edit Site Layout. Once you've done this, what you'll see is there's a Edit Site Layout label up here and there's different things you can choose. Keep the header in the sidebar, that's fine. But what you're going to do is you see that when you hover over this navigation sidebar here, it will say Edit Sidebar Item. And this is the navigation sidebar and we do want to edit that. So click Navigation and now it says it will allow you to configure the navigation. The levels of pages means how many levels of subpages will it show. So as you can see over in this sidebar that's slightly grayed out but you can still see it. It says Welcome and then underneath are these subpages the conclusion, the evaluation, the introduction. So Welcome is your first level, these other subpages are your second level. So we should leave this as two levels if we'd like, if we have our site organized like this. Your welcome page might say home depending on how you've titled it. If everything's at the top level, you would only need one level of pages. So if everything was at the same level as your home page um, and it wasn't indented over here, then you would only need one level. What we need to do in this case is tell it not to automatically organize our navigation. So it's alphabetizing pages and we don't want it to do that. So first we need to tell it what pages we want to show in the sidebar. So we're going to click Add Page. Once this loads, and I'm going to move this window up somehow. There we go. Um, so you can see it all in what I'm recording on the screen. We need to click the page that we want to show in this navigation sidebar. So I'm going to start with Conclusions, click it to highlight, and then click OK, and you see it will appear here. We're going to do this to add all of the different pages that we have in our web quest. So we're going to keep doing this until we just have all of our pages on there. So I do an introduction, then we'll do our it's a little tricky to move sometimes, but just grab the page and it should move for you. Process, and one more, which is task. All right, so now we have all the pages that we want to show in our navigation sidebar. Now, if you want to have your welcome page in there or your home page, you could also add that in. So in this case, we would just add that welcome page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use these little arrows over here to organize how these pages are uh, up here in that sidebar. So if we really want it to have the welcome page as its, its top level and home, we would put that first. The introduction always comes next, then the task, 
in the process. So we select the page we want to move and we tell it where to move by using these different arrows. So I keep moving these up and then we'll move this down under evaluation. So we have introduction task, process, evaluation, and conclusions. If we want to keep these looking like subpages of the overall welcome or home page, we can simply indent them using the indent tool. So now we have the welcome at the top, we have introduction, task, process, evaluation, and conclusions. So I'm going to say that this is OK. And once we save and then refresh the page, or we might not even need to refresh the page, but if you don't see, after it says your changes have been saved, if you don't see this change, go ahead and refresh the page using your browser window. However, mine has updated. So now I'm just going to close this view and I have my navigation sidebar in order. So there you go.